Hi guys and welcome back. Today let's talk a bit about something that I really truly love and that's working on big projects. I I've done this a lot in the past. I've had lots of big projects that I've worked on, but I have also had lots of time where I just work on one-off pieces and I get really stuck in the repetitive day-to-day -day grind and there is definitely one of those two that I prefer and that's working on the big projects. So I have come to the realization that I would much rather shift the way that I work to prioritize working on bigger things, things that end up with something that has more to say and more effort that gets put into it. And that's very exciting. So we're going to talk a bit about that, about some of my plans that really are already in action and some of the things that I am doing and working on. And eventually we'll talk about this piece that I'm actually working on towards the end. But, but anyways, yes, I have been doing a lot of thinking lately on where exactly I want to take myself art career wise. <laughs> I don't think that there's really an end goal because I can never, I would never be able to see the end path and know that I would be happy there, if that makes sense, the end of the line. But I do know that uh, there are certain things that I love working on and, and certain art products that I feel much happier about in the outcome. So I want to work more towards that direction rather than towards a direction that doesn't give me as much joy and satisfaction. And that's just working on day-to-day uh, -day stuff, I guess, getting really stuck in the repetitive process of just working at the, the very moment that something is due, if that makes sense. I, I'm not exactly sure how this is all going to come together, putting more priorities into bigger projects because in the end, giving more attention to one thing means that it has to be taken away from something else because there's only a limited amount of that. It's a limited resource. So how it's actually going to play out I can't say for sure, but what I can say is that I'm going to work on things that are going to be more exciting and bigger, and I'm still going to show you guys that, but I think it's just that the payoff isn't going to be until the end, that reward of finishing the thing, finishing the, the artwork won't really be accomplished until later down the line, which which is okay. That's something that I have done in the past and I've really enjoyed. Oh, and really quickly, I did want to say that the print of this finished piece is going to be the Patreon exclusive print for the month of August. So this is the only way that this will be available as a print, but you can sign up for the print tier over on my Patreon. And that includes this print as well as the sticker pack from the month. And uh, you have until the very last day of August. So that's August 31st to sign up for that tier. And then you can get the print and the stickers. I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. It's probably one of my, maybe even my favorite tarot cards so far might be this one. Something that I love about working on a bigger project is that I, to an extent, always know what's next, what I need to work on, which is something that I really struggle with sometimes. And I think that in some ways it's a self-employment thing and in others it's an artistic thing that we don't always know what path we really want to take ourselves down, what piece we want to work on, what we want to work on in that piece. But when I'm working on something that's part of the big project, I usually have some sort of direction mapped out. So I know, okay, I've done this. Now I need to do this piece that fills this role. And that's really nice. It takes a lot of the, the wasted time a way that sometimes happens before I work on a new piece and some of that stress that comes from that. I spend a lot of time not knowing what the most important thing is to work on or not knowing what I should do next and working on big projects. I know what's next because I planned it. I put all that thought already into it and I, I love that feeling. It's such a weight off of my shoulders. And sometimes I struggle with feeling like the pieces that I'm working on have much meaning. And I don't mean like it has to have this big emotional story behind it necessarily, or that it has to 
tell some <laughs> some truth about being human or anything like that. I just sometimes struggle with feeling like the piece that I'm working on doesn't really matter if I work on it. And I, I don't like that. I want to feel engaged and excited and and connected with each piece that I do. And when I'm working on something that's part of a network of a bigger vision, it often means that that bigger vision is something that I put a lot of thought and care into. So anything connected to it tends to share in that same meaningful quality and that same excitement that I, I felt for the entire piece can be split off and splintered into each piece that I'm working on. And I really like that feeling. It's it just feels really good to feel like I know why I'm doing something and that that is what I want to do and that it is actually taking me in the direction that I want to go artistically with my art style, with the subject matter that I'm working on, that I've already figured it out and it's not just like a stab in the dark. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like that. It will take a little bit of adjusting for me and I think that might be the biggest part of it. But I have made a bit of a shift already with just the way that I'm prioritizing things. I'm pr trying to prioritize the project that I'm working on right now. And I know that I've been very vague up until now about just big projects in general, but the one that I'm working on right now is my tarot deck, which is a very, very big project. Yes, 78 cards that need designed. So that is a very lofty, very exciting goal. And I started it at the beginning of this year. And some of you probably know that I made a pretty significant shift a couple months back. Originally, this project was going to be all oil painted. That was my vision and I was so excited about it. But it was taking a really, really, really long time, <laughs> which for this scale of a project just was not feasible. It wasn't working. So I had to sidestep a bit, reevaluate and relaunch the way that I was working on this project. So now I'm doing all the cards digitally, which really feels very, uh, like there's a bit more pep in my step now that I'm working on it like this because I'm getting results and I'm happy with them and it feels good to be checking things off. So, so anyways, that was a very long winded explanation of basically kind of where I'm at with the current big project. So the big project, my tarot deck ideally will be completed next year. Not ideally, that is the plan. It will be completed by some midpoint next year and then I can turn it into an actual deck. And that's going to be my big reward is actually turning it into a real project. But, but yeah, that, uh, if you're curious, I have five of the digital pieces completed and done. I have four that have been oil painted and I will be redoing those so that they are matching. They're, they're tra not traditional, they're digital. So they will be digital. But they're basically halfway done already because I've already done all of the sketching and the composition and a lot of the colors have been figured out. I'll, I'm sure I'll rework them a little bit because I can, but that is honestly probably close to half of the time that goes into a piece is all of that process. So, so yeah, I would say that I probably have like the equivalent of seven cards done, which doesn't sound like a lot considering I've been working on it for half a year, but most of those cards have happened within the last, uh, I'd say probably two months, but even less than that, even more condensed, I've gotten quite a few of them done really quickly, rapid fire. And that's what I've found has been really helpful is since I've shifted the way that I've been thinking about it and prioritizing it, I've allowed myself to go from one tarot card to the next, to the next for a couple of them. And that has been keeping me in the mindset and it allows me to just keep moving forward with it rather than putting big gaps in between each one. And it feels really, really satisfying to work on it like that. So, so anyways, that's where I'm at with current big project. I feel the momentum growing and it feels so right and exciting to take me in the right direction, but, but it is, it is a long haul project for sure. I anticipate probably working on it for another year, I, hopefully a little less, but, but it could, it could really 
be about that timing. I want it to be good though. I, that's what I feel most excited about is that I can give it some time to turn out the way I want it. But that also means that I have a little bit of space to allow myself to do some other larger projects in the in between between now and when my tarot deck is complete. I have space. So I would I would like to do a some sort of special product launch thing at the end of this year. I've been putting a lot of thought into it and right now it's all very open-ended. Nothing has been decided, which is really exciting because it's just allowing me to have a very open creative thought process behind it, but but there will be some sort of special something at the end of the year that I can push for and work on and I can work on that while I'm working on my tarot deck. Next year, I'm going to be releasing a coloring book for sure. I've been meaning to do this for a really long time and it just finally feels right to let that be a priority again and to actually finish it and do it. And yeah, that'll be really good. I'm thinking probably springtime for the coloring book and then the product launch thing at the end of this year and then tarot sometimes, sometime in summer next year. It's, just kind of the, the thoughts, but I love that. I love that it feels like there's several big exciting things that I can work on on the docket that I've got. The biggest one, my tarot deck, and then a couple smaller ones that allow me to add some variety into what I'm working on when I need to have a little break. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about this piece really quickly. So this is the chariot card for the tarot deck, and I... I knew that this would be a good opportunity to include an animal. So instead of the traditional actual chariot, I wanted her form of transportation to be this deer type animal. And while working on this, this deer, I, I realized that I, I was really sticking so closely to the reference. I was afraid of drawing this deer wrong. So I wasn't allowing myself like any freedom to stylize it into a shape that I was excited about and I didn't I didn't let myself really work on the details in the same way and I realized that I do that a lot with a lot of my pieces I feel more confident in general drawing people so I don't think I fall into that kind of a trap as much but it's definitely there where I I look at references and I I include details that are in the references specifically that don't necessarily need to be in it or I, I try to stick to realistically to something without giving myself room to play with the shapes and I remember doing that so much more and being much happier with the, with the process of sketching it out so yeah it's interesting that just like that one little snippet of pushing it more to the extreme of working on this deer and working on something that I was a little bit more uncomfortable with, I guess you could say, or un, unused to working on, it helped me see that that's a trap that I've fallen into for everything that I work on, that I don't let myself play with the forms as much. And I've been trying to rely a little bit more on simple color palettes for these tarot cards. I've been a lot happier with the results rather than having a ton of different colors happening they just feel a little bit more cohesive and a, a lot easier to make sure that one card is fitting well with all the other cards if there's not a lot going on color-wise in each individual card. So I think that that's a trend that I'll probably keep continuing onward with this. And don't forget that the Chariot print is the exclusive Patreon print for the month of August. So if you'd like to get a print of her, make sure to sign up for the print tier over on Patreon by August 31st. That gets you this print and the sticker pack. And that again is the only way to get her as a print. Eventually she'll be available as a card in the tarot deck, but that will be a ways from now <laughs> next year. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I loved this one. I loved how it turned out. And I am super excited to continue working on this entire project. I feel really motivated about it all. But that's it for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then.